welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my channel is called motivation matrix and i bring up a motivational video every single day on my channel i feel motivation is required although we all say that it is better to stay self motivated but at times we feel like relying on an external source so that we have some kind of motivation for the day because all the days cannot be the same some days we are feeling good some days we are feeling low so my channel is just for that it is to cater to the needs of all such motivational urges or the kind of videos we want to look forward for and i come up with contents uh, with a short story in it every content that i do has got a short story because i feel the story is the best way to convey your points or to convey your message it it is the most beautiful way through which you can convey your message so yes i am including a short story in every content of mine Hi I'm Vaishnavi and if you are new to this channel and you like such kind of contents then please do consider to subscribe to my channel and as the title suggests let us know about how can we cultivate discipline it is very important so without any further ado i will jump on to the story and then i'll meet you after the story In a bustling city lived a young man named Leo. Though talented and intelligent, Leo often struggled with maintaining focus and finishing tasks. His lack of discipline frequently left him frustrated and unable to achieve his goals. Determined to change, Leo decided to seek advice on how to cultivate discipline in his life. Leo's search led him to an old serene temple on the outskirts of the city where Master Shen, a revered and disciplined monk, resided. Leo approached Master Shen and shared his struggles, hoping to learn the secrets of discipline. Master Shen listened intently and then spoke softly. Discipline is not something you acquire overnight. It is a journey that requires patience. practice and perseverance i will guide you but you must be committed to the path he said master shen handed leo a broom and instructed him to sweep the temple courtyard every morning at sunrise this simple task will be your first lesson said master shen consistency in small tasks builds the foundation for greater discipline Initially, Leo found it hard to wake up early, but he persisted. Day by day, sweeping the courtyard became a habit. He felt a sense of accomplishment and began to understand the value of starting small. One day, Master Shen asked Leo to meditate for an hour, focusing only on his breath. Leo struggled as his mind wandered to various thoughts and distractions. Master Shen explained to cultivate discipline you must learn to focus and eliminate distractions a disciplined mind is a focused mind Leo started practicing meditation daily gradually improving his ability to concentrate he also began to apply this focus to his daily tasks setting aside specific times for work and minimizing distractions Master Shen then taught Leo the importance of setting clear achievable goals. A disciplined life is guided by purpose, he said. Define your goals and break them into smaller manageable steps. Leo listed his goals and created a plan to achieve them. By breaking his goals into smaller tasks, he found it easier to stay motivated and track his progress. One day Leo faced a particularly challenging task and felt like giving up. Master Shen advised him, "Discipline is also about resilience. Embrace challenges and learn from your failures. Each setback is an opportunity to grow stronger." With renewed determination, Leo tackled the task, learning from his mistakes and gradually improving. He realized that discipline required perseverance and a positive attitude towards challenges. Master Shen reminded Leo of the importance of balance and self-care. 
Discipline is not about rigid control, but about harmony. Take care of your body and mind and find balance in your efforts. Leo incorporated regular exercises, healthy eating and adequate rest into his routine. He also made time for relaxation and activities he enjoyed, understanding that a balanced life was essential for sustained discipline. Months passed and Leo's life transformed. He became more focused, organized and resilient. The once scattered young man was now a model of discipline, achieving his goals and finding fulfillment in his daily life. Leo returned to Master Shen to express his gratitude. Master Shen smiled and said, Remember Leo, discipline is a lifelong journey. Continue to practice, learn and grow. The seeds of discipline you have sown will bear fruit throughout your life. Leo's story became an inspiration to many in the city. People admired his transformation and sought his advice on cultivating discipline in their own lives. Leo shared the lessons he had learned from Master Shen, emphasizing the importance of starting small, focusing on setting goals, embracing challenges and maintaining balance. Through his journey, Leo discovered that discipline was not just about achieving success, but about living a purposeful and harmonious life. His story serves as a testament to the power of discipline and the incredible transformation it can bring. Not everyone can be fortunate like Leo to get a master shin in their lives, right? But then we can be the master shin of our own lives. Think about it. We have so many materials around us that can really, you know, make us master our skills. I mean, you talk about books, you talk about the materials available on the net and uh, the experiences that we gain in the practical life. All these things are nothing but our teachers. And we need to learn. We need to have that kind of mindfulness to learn from everything that we are going through in our lives. And... It is always a misconception, you know, in our minds that uh, discipline makes our life very confined. Discipline uh, kind of it brings the uh, it, it brings an element of, um, you know, that kind of hesitation that, oh, if I am disciplined, then I'm not living my life. You know, all such misconceptions are fed in our minds. And we feel that if I'm not disciplined and if I'm doing whatever I want at my own free will, it's my choice. I just want to do this. I'll do this. I want to wake up at this time. I'll wake up at this time. And that is freedom for me. This is the misconception that we are having. We say that discipline is confining our lives and it's uh, making some, you know, it's about making strict rules in life, which will not allow us to live our life. And on the other hand, by not following the discipline, we are feeling that is freedom. This thought needs to be checked. Because I firmly believe that everything, th you know, in life starts with a thought. Any thought gives rise to our feelings or emotions. Those emotions are turned into deeds. Deeds, in turn, will decide the destiny of our lives, right? So in this entire process, everything starts with the thought. So if our thought process is perfect and if we, if we have the clarity in our mind and if we do not have such misconceptions, then believe me, achieving discipline is not a very big thing for us in our lives. Because we need to understand that whatever we have been able to learn so far, some things might be correct and some things might not be practical enough. Unconsciously, we feed our mind with such misconceptions, especially when we are young, you know, uh, like as children or as uh, somebody who is in college. Uh, we see people around us who are like having so much fun in their lives. They study, of course, they study, but they also have good. Uh, a lifestyle in terms of you know enjoying their life and they say see i am free i i'm not very studious i'm not a bookworm i am here to enjoy my life we have heard all these things 
and we always feel that you know uh, oh i come from this background wherein my parents have told me that uh, you know knowledge is your asset knowledge is your property that's the only thing that will take you ahead in life so i must concentrate on my education i must be a studious person so am i uh, you know missing out on the fun aspects of life all such questions will come but just give it a thought the people who are saying that is freedom ultimately they become a slave of those things because the more you say freedom and you go away from discipline this so called uh, freedom will make them get addicted to bad things and bad things will always make sure that the person becomes slave of those bad things like for example if we say in the name of freedom i don't want to wake up early in the morning in the name of freedom i don't want to do my routine who is the loser at the end of the day in the name of freedom we are actually becoming slaves of those bad things think about it so we need to unlearn certain things right from our childhood uh, we feel that discipline is being strict to yourself come out of that you need to understand that discipline doesn't mean that you have to work like a robot or you are a mere machine no discipline is the wisdom discipline is the kind of um smartness that you will show towards your own life that is you will be uh, departmentalizing things like you will be scheduling things in a way that you're not missing out on the fun of your life and also at the same time you are not um, getting on to a wrong path as well so when i say discipline is uh, being strict towards yourself uh, discipline means following a particular schedule which is so boring i'm missing out on the fun in the life then just imagine discipline is actually giving you that kind of freedom it is not snatching away the freedom from you it is trying to make things possible in your life in a way that you are able to schedule things you are able to wake up early and you're able to accomplish more things than the other people so that is the benefit that you're getting you're able to have a good routine so how can that be a punishment how can that not be a freedom because at the end of this uh, you know the entire path of uh, taking up the discipline and cultivating that kind of discipline what i'm gaining is the first thing is that i'm going to be productive the second thing is that i'll be able to achieve all the goals that i've set for myself of course who doesn't need money with all these things i'll be able to accumulate wealth and with wealth i'll be able to have a comfortable life so which is really giving me freedom discipline of course so we need to unlearn certain things uh, we need to unlearn these concepts which say that oh you're too disciplined you're missing out on life you're missing out on all the fun that life offers to you just be free and all of this is possible uh, when we start reading a lot of books when we start doing our own research on such things um until and unless we really explore about a particular topic we will not be able to understand those concepts in its perfect meaning so i highly recommend as much as possible try to read more books they are your best friends indeed they are your best friends and we are at an age where you know we can get all the materials right uh, in front of us available on the net so we need to make good use of that and uh, try and you know plan things for yourself uh, in terms of cultivating discipline i hope you like today's content and please uh, tell me about the story that was presented in this content and uh, that's all about it um, i would highly recommend that uh, make your own efforts uh, try and uh, start something uh, small and every small task well done will encourage you to do more so that is the only mantra it's not that you're taking up a bigger task and trying to achieve success in the most magnanimous way that doesn't really happen success always happens in those small little things that we achieve on a daily basis so that's all about it that was the intention of this content i hope you liked it and uh, please feel free to uh, leave a feedback in the comment section below until next time please take care of yourselves and i'll meet you in the next video bye